on behalf of myself, our vice president, Melania really wanted to be with us. In addition to having narcissistic personality disorder, which makes him obsessed with his superiority, Donald Trump is also showing signs of substantial cognitive decline. The stress of the presidency is exacerbating symptoms of both his psychiatric disorder as well as his cognitive deficits. It's a dangerous combination. This video highlights symptoms related to his declining cognitive functioning that appear to be related to a frontal lobe dementia process. Trump often repeats himself, forgetting what he said. Trump not infrequently forgets where he is or what he's supposed to be doing. Perseveration. This refers to a person's inability to switch tracks or move from one topic to another. While Trump's constant references to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama may have political underpinnings, people fail to recognize that he can't switch tracks or take in new information, so he resorts to well-worn paths in his brain. Trump's vocabulary has notably declined to a set of repetitive and often incorrectly used words. You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. Well, I feel badly for General Flynn. I feel very badly. He's led a very uh, strong life, and I feel very badly. Trump acts in a continually impulsive manner, as noted by his Twitter feed littered with misspellings and unintelligible comments. He often speaks off the cuff, without consulting his team. He also has difficulty awaiting his turn, and he cuts people off verbally as well as physically. These symptoms, in addition to his clear narcissistic personality disorder, render Trump unfit to be President of the United States. It behooves the doctors at Walter Reed Medical Center to give Trump the neuropsychiatric tests required for a full neuropsychological workup. All our lives may depend on it.